What is up, obscure tech folks? Spark coming at you with a little bit of an explanation needed for this video. So my friends over at Fifine, 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 uh, they wanted me to check out the Ampla Game AM6 gaming microphone. Now they've done this before. I don't know if you know much about me, but I have a channel called Obscure Mics. It's kind of my channel I've been working on for the past five or six years, five and a half years. And uh, this is a microphone. So technically I would normally put this on Obscure Mics, but uh, if I find said they would prefer if I put it on Obscure Tech because they weren't sure if it was professional enough for Obscure Mics. Now, let me tell you, Obscure Mics is by no means professional. So I don't know. But then again, I don't love doing these uh, like gamer geared USB condenser microphones. Like most of them are a dime a dozen. Just being honest. None of them sound super great. They're okay. Fifine's pretty good at releasing pretty solid stuff. So maybe I'll just start doing the USB gaming mics on Obscure Tech and leave them off Obscure Mics. No big deal. Anyways, Fifine sent over the new AM6. Let's unbox it, take a look at it, see what we got. All right, so here is the box. Now, just for the sake of knowing, I opened the video with, and I'm still on the Rode NT-USB condenser microphone. So that'll be a nice comparison for this. Uh, na, 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 na. Got the user guide here. I need a better uh, overhead camera set up eventually. Maybe I can get someone to send me a camera. All right. Wow, this is all kind of put together nicely. We got a USB A to C cord. Looks like a lengthy one. That's what she said. Let's get the box out of the way so we can get some more light in there. All right. Kind of like the beefiness of this thing, to be honest. Beefy. So beefy. It's uh, kind of girthy. It is plastic. We do have a windscreen here that just slides right on and off with a little plastic ring that connects everything. And... Yeah, it's an attractive enough looking mic. We've got a base stand with a half yoke turning knob or tightening knob, I should say. Uh, on top, it does look like we have a capacitive mute switch, I believe. When we tap that, it should mute. Uh, on the front, we've got a game and chat button. That makes me feel a lot better. It's got a little unity click right there that keeps it there. You can go left for game, right for chat. We'll test that out here shortly uh, on the bottom looks like we have what is maybe a noise cancellation button a led lights button and a headphone jack i'm not going to use the base stand i'm going to put it on the boom arm uh, but on the side we have mic volume headphone volume so we've got all these dials and that works out pretty good all in all not a bad microphone aesthetically all right, and this is the Fifine AM6. Um, I've got some instant thoughts to add here. First off, um, this is $59.99, currently a 10% off coupon down below, so you can get it for more like 55 tax and all. Uh, there's no latency-free monitoring, which it says you can monitor your voice in real time. I have tried everything that I could think of. But alas, I can get no real-time monitoring. But I did record some samples, listened back, and I do have thoughts. Let me check something. Okay, so I just turned noise cancellation off. It was just on. And without noise cancellation, I think this mic sounds pretty good. I think it sounds better than most of the run-of-the-mill gaming mics out there with noise cancellation on, however... It does do a really good job of cutting noise out. I'll be quiet. But it does have a bit more of a boxy sound. So noise cancellation off. That would be the mode I'd want to use this in. By the way, USB-C's on the back. Forgot to show that. I don't know. Uh, we've got this thing rotating through a lemonade and lime spiral index of colors. And... It's, yeah, I actually, with that half yoke and this windscreen, I actually think it looks pretty cool. 
You can go solid colors. You can go mix mash of colors, you know, to stay. Or you can have them rotate. There's so many things. I like that strawberry lemonade. Press and hold and you can have it look like a mic with no colors or anything like that at all. Now the game and chat button on the front, you know, you can toggle and go back and forth between game and chat. They specifically showed Discord on here. So I imagine there's lots of applications that you can toggle back and forth on that. I'm also gonna hit the capacitive mute button switch. And then we're gonna go ahead and unmute. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is actually a really nice gaming microphone. I'm actually really surprised. I also like to open this up. I pointed at the threading why I forgot immediately is beyond me, but it has five eights threading and deeper in there, it has three eights threading. So you don't need an adapter, nothing like that. Fifine has done it again. If you watch obscure mics at all, you know that I am a fan of Fifine because they make really good quality stuff sound wise and typically build wise. This one, it is plastic, but you know, it's 50 bucks. So with the sound being as good as it is and some of the options being the way that they are, 50 bucks, not a hefty price for a nice gaming microphone. Normally the USB mics are skinnier and not as like, you know, cool looking. This is a fantastic size. That's what she said. It's actually kind of perfect. If I was a gamer, this might be, might be my mic if I was a gamer. Maybe. I don't know what's going on with the latency-free monitoring. It says you can monitor in real time. Maybe that doesn't mean, I don't know. Monitoring is monitoring, and I can't hear anything unless maybe software does have to come into play. But typically, I plug in a mic, and it just works monitoring-wise. This one, not so much. Playback and stuff coming through the computer works great. I do definitely like the USB-C on the back, and I like the headphone port being somewhere else to drop down. It kind of makes things feel less congested and you could run your USB cable through your boom arm if it's got that capability pretty easily and it would work pretty well. And then your headphones, you don't have to have running away from you. You can have them running right with you. So there were some things thought of here that I think are pretty cool. Again, I wish latency-free monitoring was working for me. I'll have to do a Windows test and I'll pin a note at the top if it worked, if not, there will be no note, but let me test this pop filter out. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. I don't know how the plosives sound because I can't hear myself. Let's go ahead and do off axis rejection, 90 degrees on the microphone. So, you know, if it's going to cut off a lot of sound, it doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's picking up a lot. I'm going to talk into the rear now to see how much it rejects from the rear. And again, not a ton. So... Your off-axis rejection stuff, not going to be fantastic with this one, but sound-wise, pretty good. I would say it's definitely worth a 50 spot because you do get everything you need there. And it does, without that noise reduction button on, it sounds pretty damn good. With the noise reduction button on, it's still going to be fine for gaming, and it's going to block out ambient noise this and that, table bumps, whatever. Um, but for the optimal sound quality, I like it with noise reduction off. But again, you're in a noisy environment, you got that option too. So all in all, they've thought of most everything. Fifine puts out banger products at banger prices. And this is another one. So again, not perfect. I wish to God I could hear myself, but all things considered for gaming, by no means a professional microphone. So I get why they wanted me to do it on this channel, but gaming, recreation, discord, those things, full hearts can't lose. Yep. I remembered that from 20 some freaking years ago. Obscure tech. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.